Hi, this is Maginoni, and here's my review for Amazing Spider-Man number 632, Shred. This is part three uh, to the Lizard Saga. Now, there's going to be spoilers, so if you haven't read your books, then be careful. Uh, then you're going to get spoiled. Uh, let me first say, I this is probably my favorite Gauntlet storyline so far. And the sad thing is it's not even labeled with the Gauntlet on it. But regardless, this is like my favorite one. Uh, I love the cover. I, I just wish that this is the type of thing that they could easily turn into a poster. And, and I would buy it, for sure, definitely. Okay. Now, even though I started off with that positive, I gotta quickly go into a little negative here. They go through like three different artists on this issue, so it makes me wonder, were they late or what? What's the deal? Regardless, I'm really disappointed because I really love the artist for the first part, and it just, you'll see it kind of, the quality kind of drops a little bit with the future artists, but you know, you know, some art isn't the same, like, for everybody, so, you know, that's just me. Anyways, uh, what we have is we have, if you remember last issue, uh, the lizard was cornering his son, he had some villains on a building watching, and Spider-Man saved the Mrs. Connors and was going at, now going after to try to save Billy. Well, Spider-Man arrived too late because Billy's dead. And I was really, really shocked and surprised when I saw that. I never expected anything like that to happen. Because that was like a central key story line that they, they kept overusing over and over again. About how the lizard kept wanting to go after his son. Okay, what we have is now, Spider-Man knows that the lizard is nearby, so he's freaking out, <clears throat> and he finds the lizard all jumbled up like that, and he's thinking that the lizard's dead, but truth of the matter, the lizard's not dead, he basically shed his skin and is coming out now, and I'm going to first say, these are spoilers, so don't want to know what the lizard looks like, now is the time to stop reading. Uh, personally, I love the new look. I don't know how long it's going to last, but I love the new look. And here we go. Here's the new look of the lizard. Now, it's it's not like a lot different, but I like the way it evolved. Now he's got the hair. He looks a little different, too, in terms of the way the claws are. Uh, his speech pattern is different. Uh, before, you had basically Kurt Connors inside the lizard's head going, no, 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 that's my son Billy. But now that Billy's gone, he basically is, he basically re receded, and now the lizard is basically accessing his brain and using it. And this is like a totally different lizard. So you have um, lizard calling Spider-Man monkey brain, which I think is kind of funny, because I'm sure wouldn't be surprised that's how the lizard or like a reptile might see humans, but anyways, uh, he explains kind of like what's going on with the, now with the relationship with uh, the old Kurt Connors mind and the lizard mind, and there's a quick battle here, and I really like the way this this page right here is really good and <coughs> the way the the way the movement of the scene moves, the action that's around. It really, I mean, it, there really does, the guy does a lot of effort. It shows, like, a lot of, he used, the, basically, I guess what I'm trying to say is he used the space really well. And it was able to accomplish a lot of activity without doing traditional panels. I, this really worked for me. Well, it turns out, you know, the lizard's, the lizard's talking to him. He's basically telling him, Spider-Man, why aren't you running? Run, 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 run. And finally, something triggered inside Peter Parker's head that he needs to run. And um, he just takes off. And the lizard's like, Ooh, wait a second, I can't chase after him. My monkey brain is telling me that I need, I am naked and I need clothes. So, I mean, I thought that was kind of funny. But it, it just kind of shows that you know, this lizard is totally different than what he was before. And this is going to be a whole new battle for Spider-Man going forward. 
now this is where the art changes and see as you can see I mean it's a drastic change in style it's like really noticeable and basically Spider-Man basically ends up where all this started and he grabs the serum and he grabs a photo of Billy and then that's where that ends and then this is where the art changes yet again and this is where okay this I can almost accept almost but this is where I'm like now you're just looking like any other comic it's not very pleasant flattering <clears throat> and it takes away in my opinion the, what made the, all the issues prior to this special just the way the art look was really good and now it's like eh. anyways you have the lizard killing somebody to get some clothing and he ends up basically what you learn is the lizard has a new power he's got this mind control power now where he's able to act basically control people and it's like a primal thought that he can put in somebody's head you know with Peter Parker it was you know to run and now like this guy here is like you know I'm stronger give me the car and you know, it's that kind of thing and now craziness ensues um, that's why I'm like this is a totally different lizard see like I don't really like I like the new lizard look but I don't like the lizard look here it looks too cartoony for me the lizard look here it's more primal it's more mo like a monster it's and it's the little things it, it, the way they put it, the light and dark uh, the way like when you look in the backgrounds you can see the little lizards I mean it's like it's like Viggy's this is like you had it was like an Easter egg hunt you had to actually look and see it but the other one like over here oh look at it it's right there it's like it took away part of the fun of looking into the panel and studying what's in the background this one he just throws it right on the page and you see it and um, so that that was a total letdown for me but regardless of that part this is still so far I think this is rated uh, A for awesome because it, so far this is really an amazing book uh, I cannot wait for the trade to come out and I probably will buy the trade for this definitely it's totally worth every penny so um, if you have any questions or comments uh, feel free to leave them aside tell me what you think of the lizard's new look his new power and um, until next time